look at all these students dying from hunger. How can I help them? Hey guys, are you all out of meal points? I shall grant you the knowledge to save yourselves. I will show you the way. Now go to the administration building. I'm going to show you some edible and or native plants around campus. This is a salvia plant. Some of them have edible seeds. Others, like the common sage, can be used for cooking and medicinal uses. Now, look at these coral bells. Their leaves are bitter, but edible. They also have excellent medical benefits like reducing swelling and prevent bleeding of minor injuries. Here we have the yucca. Every single part of this plant is edible except for the roots. Another native plant is the Joe Pie Weed. While edible, not many people eat it because it's mostly an ornamental plant. Its primary benefits are reducing fevers or to treat typhus. Speaking of diseases, if you ingest the extract of a purple cone flower, your white blood cell count will improve. Leukemia be gone! Here we have daisies. You can eat the leaves raw or cooked or boil the petals or flower buds to make tea. Here we have the oak tree. It has a rigid bark with leaves that have pointed lobes. It's a deciduous tree that produces beautiful colors in the fall. While not edible, it's nice to look at while you munch on your daisies. These are only some of the plants. There are even more at the Ashley Schiff Preserve. You've reached the heaven of food where you can see a myriad of wildlife. For example, we have deer, bugs, plants, and chipmunks everywhere. Go forth and see what you can eat. But before you eat, take note of the environment around you. In this preserve, we can see many varieties of trees, such as maple, oak, orchard, beech nut, and birch. Plants and trees are important because they are part of the ecosystem. For those who don't know what an ecosystem is, it is a community of living and non-living things that work together. It's important that we maintain this ecosystem because it's a part of our life and protects us against natural disasters. An ecosystem can be described using a food web. A food web is a diagram that outlines the relationship between multiple plants and animals. Trees, flowering plants, and grass are the primary producers and without them in the food web, all human beings and animals would die of starvation. Herbivores, such as deer, are the primary consumers because they eat the plants. Any animals that eat these herbivores are referred to as omnivores and carnivores. As much as we need our primary producers, we also need our water. Sunlight and water are the most important elements in our ecosystem because without them, all our plants would die. As for us humans, Long Island gets water from a source known as aquifers. 
They are underground caverns that store fresh water and are piped to our homes after being filtered out. If we can keep the waters clean and the ecosystems thriving, we have one happy world. If not, we get the... We need your help on preserving this environment. Go out and explore your natural surroundings. Learn the names of the plants and animals in your area. Take a hike in a natural forest preserve. You may find things that benefit both you as an individual and the world as a whole.